anyway. Um, is it epinephrine? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think I've got two. My brain is just jacked. Um, so anyway, we pulled over, I used the Ibuterol, and I took copious amounts of Benadryl because I thought, well, it'll help some kind of allergic reaction, but I don't know if it'll help this one. And then, um, sort of just felt awful. Like, I felt like there was... I'll describe it. It's pro I mean, it's probably not accurate. I can just tell you what I physically felt like. I felt like there was like a swelling around my heart, like there was infection in my chest cavity. Not like mucus, but just infection. I felt like sick and like things were attacking my organs. And so anyway, he drove and I tried to sort of stay calm. And eventually, with pain medication and Benadryl doping me up, I was able to sort of sleep. Um, and the, so, um, but I've been worn out and fairly sort of, I mean, I'm pretty cognitive, but I've been sort of confused ever since, like, um, and I've had this a lot just in the last couple of weeks, like, my spatial relations are really jacked, so, um, like, if I'm reaching in the car to get something, uh, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna hit my face on the top of the car because I don't, I have no understanding of how far something is from me, or if I'm going to sip something from my drink, I've gagged on my straw, I don't, my spatial relations are jacked, um, which they've always been what I'm worst at, you know, physically, puzzles and relating physically to things have always been the thing I'm worst at, so it makes sense to, but to me that it's sort of the first thing to go, but like, I can't figure out how to put my phone on the charger or put batteries in the camera, I mean, like, it's not like... Um, I feel like my boyfriend sometimes gets frustrated and feels like I just want him to do it and I don't want to do it. It's not that. It's like I can't, I'm frustrated because it's something I know um, that I knew how to do. I mean, you know, in essence, you open it and take out a battery and put in a battery. But um, there are moments where I can't figure it out. I'm holding the camera and I can't figure it I'm like a monkey. I need a rock to tap on the camera and figure out how to make it work. Um, And so I have less trouble finding words, although that's happening too, but my spatial relations stuff is really effed. And um, so yeah, that freaky thing happened, and I don't ever want that to happen again. I mean, I, I'm used to my throat closing up a little bit. I'm used to sort of passing out sometimes. I'm not used to feeling my heart stop, and I, I went blind in my right eye, like, right after I was diagnosed. Um, and I, of course, you always experience that sort of flickering sight, and my sight gets diminished and sort of dulled when I'm feeling really sick, but um, this was scary, so I need to find out what the crap happened and make it sure it never happens again. Um, and that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be dramatic. Things are okay. I'm home. This weekend was a little too much for me, but and I've learned a lesson about I mean, maybe I can go, if I ever am in a tight spot where I have to function, maybe I can sort of go off of my major, like my twice like the Mepron and stuff for a day or something, but I just can't miss my normal antibiotics ever again. My body needs a couple thousand milligrams of that stuff in me, or I'm going to suffer pretty fast. Um, but, I mean, largely this weekend was okay. I met a lot of new people. Um, I had a fun time directing, so I'm not saying I totally regret it, but I regret some of the ways I, I chose in which to function, because I was, because I was being, um, I was letting my ego be in control, and I didn't want to use my walker in front of a bunch of strangers and that kind of stuff, so I went off the stuff that makes my arthritis bad, and then now I'm paying for it, so I shouldn't have let my ego get in the way. Other than that, though, it was fun. And my dogs were there, and they got to go to the hotel, and they got to ride in the car, and they had a really, really good time. And, and so just seeing their little doggy smiles was really sort of worth it alone. So hope everyone that watches this has, has a good weekend, and, or had a good weekend. And um, I'm sure I'll blab at YouTube soon. <laughs> Take care.